Hi, I'm Erin East with Keysight Technologies. If you look at our YouTube pages, you will find loads of information on the basics of oscilloscope measurements. In this new series, I'm going to walk through some of the more advanced capabilities of Keysight's InfiniVision oscilloscopes and how to use them, such as serial trigger and decode, mask testing, eye diagrams, jitter analysis, and so much more. To start things off, I realize there are many engineers out there who don't know how to set up serial trigger and decoding on an InfiniVision oscilloscope. There are a few key steps to follow to get you started with analyzing any type of serial bus, whether it's CAN, SPY, I2C, CAN FD, USB, SENT, the list goes on and on. The process to get set up is similar for all of them. Of course, the first step in the debug process is to make sure you have the correct probes and accessories. Depending on what you are testing, you may need a differential probe or different type of active probe. Keysight's Oscilloscope Probe Selection Guide can help you determine exactly what you need. Once you are probing on your device and can see the signal on screen, it's time to set up the scope. Adjust your scaling so you can see more of your signal on the screen, either using the knobs or auto scale. It's clear we aren't triggering correctly, but before you jump into that, you will want to set up the serial decoding. You can press the serial button on the front panel of the oscilloscope or in the touchscreen. The first decode type will automatically be set to I squared C. In this example, I'm debugging a CAN bus, so I'll select that mode. Now we can see the decoding data, so it's time to trigger. The default trigger type is an edge trigger, but if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we'll see the serial triggers. Now that you're triggering properly, you can adjust the scale and position on the screen so that all events are occurring within the screen. Right now, we're simply triggering on the start of each frame, but you can see all the trigger options here that give you different insight into how your device is behaving. This makes it really easy to dive into the frequency of errors on your bus and help characterize them. In a future video, I'll show you how to use segmented memory and the lister to make this analysis even more insightful. This list of trigger options changes based on the type of bus that you're decoding, but the setup process is the same for any type of serial bus that the InfiniVision oscilloscopes support. To learn more about Keysight InfiniVision oscilloscopes, check out the link in the description below. I'll see you in the next episode for some more advanced measurement tips.